Hi everyone, welcome to Digital Science Saturday Funky Fungi. My name is Julia and I work at the Pacific Grove Museum of Natural History. Today we are going to learn a little bit about the wonderful and weird world of fungi. Fungi is all around us. If you're like me, you may love to put mushrooms on your pizza or stir fries, but did you know that yogurt, cheese, and so many other foods we love wouldn't exist without fungi? Fungi is found all around the world in many different forms. So what are fungi exactly? Are they plants? Animals? In fact, they're neither. Many fungi look like plants, but fungi are heterotrophs like animals, meaning they must digest food to live. Meanwhile, plants are autotrophs. They make their own food through photosynthesis, which is the process of converting energy from the sun. However, unlike animals, Fungi often grow out of the ground in a similar way to plants. They can reproduce asexually using spores to spread and grow, which we will discuss in a moment. So if fungi are not plants or animals, what are they? Fungi are actually placed in a separate kingdom. Fungi are spore producing organisms that feed on organic matter. The branch of biology in which we study fungi is called mycology and someone who studies them is a mycologist. Now let's break it down a bit and talk about the anatomy or structure of a fungus. Fungi are made from a network of thread-like tubular structures called hyphae. While each thread is called a hypha, the whole network is mycelium. Most of this mycelium lies underground. The mushrooms that we know are just the fruiting body of a whole fungus. When mycelium grows, something called a primordium develops on or near the surface of whatever substrate the fungus is growing on, and it enlarges into a button, seen on the right. This button then usually expands to form the full mushroom. The visible mushroom exists only to spread spores and reproduce along the underside of the cap, sometimes extending down the stalk. Once the mushroom grows above the surface, the fungi is able to reproduce and multiply by dropping these spores. To learn more about fungi anatomy, watch our mushroom dissection video. Fun fact, the world's largest living organism is a fungus. Called the humongous fungus, it's a network of underground mycelium that covers almost four square miles in Oregon's Mallard National Forest. Now fungi are very important decomposers, which means they break down dead organic matter and return vital nutrients to the soil. They consume and break down a variety of things from fruit and plants to dead animals. Decomposers complete the food chain cycle and when nutrients return to the soil, a new food chain begins. Without fungi, forest floors and other ecosystems would have a vast amount of waste piled up. There are a million different types of fungi, or so scientists think. Scientists have described around 120 species of fungi, but estimate that there could be as many as 5 million. Some examples of fungi include yeasts, molds, mildews, lichen, and my favorite, mushrooms. We can find mushrooms here in Monterey County, especially in moist, damp areas like forests. One of my favorite things to do is look for mushrooms while I'm going on hikes or walks in my neighborhood. Next time you're on a walk, especially after a few days of rain or heavy fog, look for mushrooms in damp places like under logs or near decaying wood. Before you go looking for mushrooms, there's something very important you must always keep in mind. Although most fungi play important roles in our ecosystems, some types of fungi can be very harmful to plants or animals, including humans. Some mushrooms are delicious and healthy treats, and others can make humans very sick. This is why we don't want to go out looking for mushrooms to eat. Instead, make sure to just observe the mushrooms and leave them how you found them. There is still so much fun to be had in observing them in their natural habitat. Now, I'd like to show you some beautiful mushrooms that I have observed on walks in Monterey County. Here is witch's butter. It's a really weird jelly fungus, but super cool to see, uh, usually growing on dead trees, like you can see here. 
We've got a really hydrated one on the right, but if it's dry out, not much moisture or rain, they can look a little shriveled as seen on the left, but they can rehydrate um, and look just as jelly-like as the one on the right. Here we have what we're pretty sure is a honey mushroom seen at the Pacific Grove Museum of Natural History last fall, a beautiful cluster of mushrooms. And here we have various types of bracket fungi. These are fungi that can often be seen growing on trees or dead logs. They're also called polypores and their fruiting bodies or mushrooms are called conchs. Now here is the fly agaric, Amanita muscaria. It is one of the most iconic mushrooms. You'll often see it in fairy tales or cartoons, but it is very poisonous. So never pick it up or take it home to eat. You can also notice the different stages in these photos I've taken from the button stage on the left to the very mature Amanita in the upper right corner. And here we have an unknown species of puffball mushroom. It was really cool. I saw this walking in the forest, uh, reached down and poked it and look what happens. So that little cloud there are actually the spores uh, enabling them to spread and reproduce in, upon impact. So really fun, such a beautiful and wacky mushroom. And here are a few other mushrooms I've seen in Monterey County. I don't know what all of them are, but I think the one on the top right is an elfin saddle, awesome name, not really sure about the rest, but there's so much to be seen uh, and so much adventure out there. So I definitely encourage going out and looking for mushrooms. Much of the fun of looking for mushrooms is in identifying them. We can use apps like iNaturalist, guides like this one that we have in the museum store, and books by trusted mycologists like David Aurora. These resources will help you learn more about fungi and discover the world around you. I hope this video has taught you a thing or two about fungi and inspired you to go out and observe some in your backyard or neighborhood. Thank you so much for tuning into this video and to Digital Science Saturday, Funky Fungi.